Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about regular expression. What is regular expression? Regular expression is a specific pattern that provides concise and flexible means to match strings of text, such as particular characters, words, or patterns of characters. This is a definition from Wikipedia. So in short, regular expression is a way to match strings. So it is very useful in text editing and text searching. Regular expression is not just supported by C++. It is supported by almost all languages. Perl, Python, Tickle, Java, you name it. So first I'll talk about the regular expression grammar in general which is the knowledge that is transferable to other language as long as the regular expression is supported. And in later video, I'll talk about the specific features that C++11 standard library provides. If you are already familiar with the regular expression and you just want to see how it is used in C++11, you can skip the rest of this video and jump to the later ones. So let's first look at our simple example. This is an infinite loop. And in the loop, it first read a string from the standard input, and then create a regular expression, and then check if the string and the regular expression matches, and then print out the result. This is a very simple example of regular expression. It can only match a string of ABC and nothing else. So if we run the program and let's enter a string ABC and it matched. If uh, capital ABC it's not match. Uh, ABC C it's not match. So the only thing can match is um, ABC, the lowercase ABC. Now suppose I don't care about the case. I want to match ABC whether it's lowercase or uppercase. To do that, I can add a flag. It's called I case. Ignore case. And let's remove the extra comma. And then run the program. Now if I enter capital ABC match ABC match ABC match so the matching is ignoring the case now this is a very simple string match the power of regular expression is in the special pattern characters a special pattern character has a special meaning when it appears in the regular expression the first one I'd like to introduce to you is a dot. A dot means any character except a new line. So if I add a dot after ABC, this will match any string that starts with ABC and followed by one character. And that character can be anything except a new line. Now let's run the program. Okay, if we type A, B, C, D, it matched. Uh, A, B, C, E, it matched. But if we type A, A, B, C, D, it's not matched because we have an extra A at the very front. So a dot means any character except a new line. Now let's comment out this one and try another regular expression. This one has a question mark in it. What does a question mark mean? A question mark means zero or one preceding character. So if we run the program, A, B, C, that's a match. A, B, C, C, that's not a match. A, B is also a match. So question mark means zero or one preceding character. 
in this case the preceding character is C so this will match AB followed by either 0 or 1C now let's come out this one and try a regular expression that has a star in it what does star mean? a star means 0 or more preceding characters so not just one it can be any number of preceding characters and let's run it so now a b c c can match a b c c c c c is also match a b is still a match and a a b c is not a match because we have an extra a in front now let's try another one this regular expression is abc plus plus means one or more preceding character so it cannot be zero it has to be one or more now let's run it how oh, abc is a match ab is not a match so the only difference between plus and star is if there's zero um, C then it's not a match for the plus now let's try another one this one has AB and then square brackets CD and then star we know that star means zero or more preceding character so what is the preceding character in this case? The square brackets means any character inside of the square brackets can be matched. So in this case, either C or D can be matched. The preceding character can be either C or D. Now let's run the program. So if we do A, B, C, it's a match. A, B, it's still match because star means zero uh, or more. A, B, C, D, it's also match. A, B, C, 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 D, 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 also match. And uh, a, if we do A, B, C, C, that's not a match because we have an extra B uh, in, over here. Now let's try another one. This is the opposite of the previous one. It means any character that is not inside the square bracket is a match. So if we run this program and uh, ABC, ABD, it's not a match. ABC, not a match. ABE, it's a match. ABEEEE, -E -E, ABEEF. So W whatever so anything that is not E or not C or D can be matched and a B is also a match now let's try something different so now we have a 3 over here the 3 means exact 3 appearance of the preceding um, character. So A B C A B D not a match. A B D D D that is a match because we have three D's after A B. Uh, a B C C C also a match. A B C D C match. A B C D C D not a match because I, now I have four. A B C D also not match I only got two now suppose I do three comma this means three or more preceding character so if I do a b c d that's not a match because it's not it doesn't have three a b c d c c d d it's a match a B C D D D D D D D it's a match. A B C C C C C C it's also a match. 
and if I do 3 comma 5 that means either 3 or 4 or 5 preceding characters can be matched so let's run again uh, it's A, B, C, C, D, that's a match, that's 5. Uh, no, that's 3. A, B, C, C, D, 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 this is a 5. A, B, C, D, 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 not a match because I have 6. Now let's do something else. Now what is this? This means all. So either this one or this one can be a um, match. So let's run the program. Oh, now A, B, C is still a match. D, E, F is also a match. D, E, G is a match. D, A, B, that's not a match. A, B, C, D, E, F, that's not a match. Okay. As you see, we use square brackets to define a category of characters that can be matched. But what if we want to match the square bracket itself? To do that, we can use the escape sign and followed by the square bracket. No, not this one. This one. So this is a match of either ABC or DE followed by a F or G or a square bracket. Now let's do something else. This one has parentheses in it. Parentheses are used to define a group. And what's being matched by this group is called a submatch. The backslash 1 means the submatch will appear at this position again. And the backslash before the backslash is to escape the backslash. So now let's run the program. So uh, ABC that match the group and DE, E, and then ABC. So this is a match. So this is the f the group first group, and then this is the DE matches over here and this is the backslash one and we could also have more than one groups and in this case we have group 1 a B and then group 2 D E plus and then group 2 appear first and then group 1 I'll run the program so now in order to match I have to have group 1 A B and then C D E E E let's see and then group 2 A B again oh no group 2 is D E E E and then group 1 A B so this is a match but if I have less 1 E this is not a match And lastly, let's do something meaningful. Let's search an uh, email address that end with uh, uh, .com. And we can do that with this. So this means a word character. This is a predefined character class, which defines a group of characters. And in this example, W means word character. It includes digit, number, or underscore. So any one of them can be matched with this expression. And word character plus means one or more word characters. And dot com, this dot is escaped with backslash. So it is not the same as uh, um, this, uh, this dot. So this dot is the raw character dot. Now let's run it. Say boq at gmail.com. That's a match. 
boq at yahoo.com match boq at um, ca.org that's not a match all right there are a bunch of uh, other predefined character classes and here's a table of them this is uh, from c++.com and we've already seen w means word character and d means decimal digit character uppercase upper means uppercase and punct this is pretty useful it's for punctuation marks alpha is for alphabet characters so the predefined character classes provide shortcuts for the uh, frequently used character classes okay enough of the regex, regex match now let me show you a regex search what the regex search does is instead of matching the regular expression to the entire string it only search the string to see if there's a substring that can be matched with the regular expression so if we comment out this one comment out this one and like let's try the simplest case abc dot and then run it so now if we search abcd abce this is still a match uh, this is the same as regex match. Now let's do a a a a a b c e, and this is still a match. This will not be a match for the regex match, but for regex search, since we only care about a substring, so this is still a match. And now let's say I have a a a a b c e and a bunch of different thing, and this is still a match because we have a substring of a b c e that can be matched so this is how uh, the regex search works say now i want to add more constraint i want to say only when a b c is at the beginning of the string it can be counted as a match if a b c appears at the middle of the string or at the end of the string that doesn't count to do that, I can do this. Now let's run the program. Okay, now I do A, B, C, C, D. That's a match. A, B, C, D, E, A. That's a match. A, 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 B, C, D. That's not a match because A, B, C, D is not at the beginning of the string. And if we don't have the character sign in the beginning, then this is a match for regex search. Now let's say instead of search A, B, C dot in the beginning, I only want to search it in the end of the string. To do that, I only need to add a dollar sign. And then Let's run the program. Now if I do A, 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 B, C, D, it's a match because A, B, C, D is at the end. A, 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 B, C, D, E, that's not a match. The E is an extra. So dollar sign means end of the string. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.